this is Nina from English Bruno and in this video I'd like to introduce a few of my students of my local course Kurs Zážitkové Angličtiny or as I loosely translate it into English English without books course. We learn without course books and we learn by doing with the help of my native speaker and international friends and colleagues. For this part of the course the six ladies who are attending the course at the moment had an assignment to write a blog post for my blog, which you can hopefully read here below if you're on my blog right now, on the topic of recommendations in the city, the city being Brno, our hometown, of course. So here are two of the six students, Renata and Monica, presenting their work. Enjoy, and if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. This was Nina, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you around. Ciao! Okay, so now something about accommodation. Uh, if girls don't care so much about money, uh, the best choice for accommodation is the Grand Hotel, for start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, near a bus station and also close to the center. Uh, but if they don't need so high quality accommodation, uh, they or they don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, um, they can stay or they can check in a pension at Bonjanko. It's also a comfortable hotel, but it's not so expensive. Or maybe maybe they don't care about accommodations, so so, so uh, they uh, they can say uh, there's opportunity to take take place in a dormitory. Mm -hmm. Dormitory uh, of uh, Masaryk University or uni University of uh, Then uh, we would inform them about uh, travel or how to travel in Brno as cheap as possible. Uh, they, uh, if they want, uh, of course, they uh, can take um, a taxi, but uh, the cheapest way how to travel in Brno uh, is by tram. Uh, Shalina is common name for it in Brno. Uh, and, just, <laughs> and just because they are in a Czech Republic, so uh, they should try try uh, some uh, traditional dishes. Uh, for example, fish sour and smetanie is uh, uh, beef so with dumplings and sauce sold from uh, for uh, root root vegetables or I don't know maybe. And uh, the, or a vegetable vegetable vela is the <laughs> Pork, dumplings, and uh, and ca cabbage. Yes, or fruit filled dumplings. <laughs> so if they don't like dumplings, they like. Um, and um, everybody knows that uh, that uh, this Czech food is a little bit heavy. So for a good uh, for a good digestion. <laughs> Uh, we we should we we can buy them uh, something to drink, for example, take beer, like I said, or uh, some uh, digestive uh, bacteria, it's a her herbal alcohol, or slivovica, uh, something like some whiskey, <laughs> and then after two hours, maybe two two per mile, uh, we can uh, we can easily move uh, into the nightclub and uh, enjoy. Um, <laughs> or uh, if they enjoy listening chamber music, uh, we will recommend them uh, to visit Bar Upalečka. Uh, there is a beautiful <laughs> solar atmosphere and uh, there are usually organized English meetings uh, with native speakers. Uh, so uh, girls could meet uh, Americans uh, who live in Brno. Uh, after midnight, uh, we can go to the clubs or nightclubs, for example, Metro, Two Faces, Remix or Slida. And uh, in the morning, uh, they surely appreciate taxi service. Uh, we found uh, Impulse Taxi. Impulse Taxi uh, has a website in English. <laughs>